know you got a stay strong God is in control, hold on Anytime you down, baby, play this song God's time is the best, hold on Oh, baby, don't Hi, everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel I am so happy to be here um, Thank you for clicking and watching this video Today is a whole new Yeah, it's just something else and I'm sure you saw from the title, we are talking about me buying, mm -hmm. not my first, not my second, but my third baby, you know. So, um, I'm super excited, super excited. I had recorded a video in the car, the new baby. And then the recording just, I don't know what happened, the, the volume or whatever, everything just went quiet halfway. So I had to start again. That's why I'm like in my room. But I will take you guys through a car tour. Oh, it's so beautiful. Whew. Yeah, guys. So before we start, I'd just like to read a verse, right, that really hit me. So I'm reading from uh, the Message Bible. And it's Ephesians 3 verse 20. Um, it says, God can do anything. You know far more than you could ever imagine. Or guess or request in your wildest dreams. He does it not by pushing us around, but by working within us. His spirit deeply and gently with us. If you go to other versions, it will tell you about exceedingly, abundantly, like all that you could ever imagine. Yo, and I feel like that's what happened to me. So, yeah, guys. Whew, the car. The car. Okay. So, before we start, um, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit comment, guys. Let me know what you think, what you're feeling, you know. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is the power of manifestation, understanding what is manifesting and believing and trusting in God. Just as the verse I read, like guys, yo, I bought my second car in December, like 10 months ago. And I honestly did not think it would take 10 months for me to get the next one. And yes, I started manifesting this car in march or february and i just kept seeing it when he was at the mall i would park next to it when i was walking past one at the mall i would literally like walk and be like looking at it and looking at the interior and and just imagining myself there when i saw it i'd be like why are you parking over there you know the sun is gonna burn my like i would talk as if i'm already driving this car but not knowing that god is listening you know because it says that he works within us you know his spirit gently and everything so you just need to ask speak to him you know manifest it have faith believe in it when you visualize it it will come to you obviously you have to work hard and everything else and to be honest i didn't think it was going to happen so quick because i just got the other one now and it was amazing it was beautiful the journey everything was nice but for some reason there's this thing that happens with me the spiritual side aspect of it the first one right had it just started doing funny things so it got to a point where someone even said to me gift have you noticed that you this is my first car have you noticed that every time you're about to get paid on the 25th of each month your car breaks down just imagine someone telling me that and i was like you actually right and i started realizing that it's taking more money than me actually saving money and I bought it cash, right? So I did do a video previously on that um, buying cars cash, but I'll get to that. So someone was telling you that, and obviously I realized, yep, my time is up with this car, and that was my Fiat Palio. Got the second one, Chef Spark, nice, no problems. And then it just started acting up on me. Nah, I I get into the car, I press, I I do start, nothing is working. Like, it literally was cranking the whole time. Somebody else steps into my car, takes the same key, starts the car, and everything works. And I'm like, God, what's happening? And yes, it could have been a thing of things were, were supposed to, you know, it was supposed to discourage me and everything. But God has turned it into something good because he's like, you've been saying you want this kind of car. Why not go for it? And I was like, but God... You know, I don't have the cash up front. What should I do? <sighs> Guys, I finally decided, let me go for finance, right? Because 
I did a video on buying your car cash in your 20s and I'm still down for that video like you can do that it still works but then I was like okay god I am ready to move to finance so we started looking around the dealerships going from you know dealer to dealer and I wasn't happy with the cars I saw and then mommy the hero decided to take over and she's like I am gonna walk to every dealer I'm not gonna drive I'm gonna walk and until I find your car I was like it's hot and everything she went guys she walked to every dealer I think she passed like 10 of them she brought like cards cards of all these different types of dealers and the last one that she found was where she found the one that I have now and when she got there it's literally five minutes away from home so she walked all the way only to find the car five minutes away from our place and when she got there she's like I want an eco sport yeah that's the car I'm driving she's like I want an eco sport and they showed her one at the back it was hidden at the corner she loved it she's like the boss referring to me she's like my boss is coming she's gonna take this car and when she got home she's like I found it go and look at it it's yours and I said huh we got there guys my siblings and I got there and yo we fell in love the color the everything was just beautiful I was like I want this car and bear in mind the previous day we had gone to another dealership I had applied I was approved and everything but then when it came to the cars I was like nope I don't like your cars so I went to the whole process again of um, applying and funny enough, yeah, this was where the, 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 the complication started. So I had applied the previous dealership, got approved. All I needed to do was just choose the car. So I don't like it. My mom finds another one at the second dealership. I have to reapply, right? But then as uh, the day after, re, uh, after applying, this guy calls me from finance house and he's like, I work with Absa. I see you've been approved. Which dealership has it gone through? I was like, the first dealership didn't have the cars I like. I applied another one. He's like, give me the numbers. Okay, cool. Like, it's supposed to be fast, fast, guys. Getting a car on finance, it should be a day or two, you know? Ah, oh, three weeks. Three weeks for me to get a car. Like, it was tough. I apply at the dealership. I'm like, I want this EcoSport. He... There's the lady, I don't know, the sales lady or whatever. She's the one who deals with the finance documents and stuff. She's like, nope, you are never going to qualify. No bank wants to take you. You are a risk. Guys, listen to the negativity. You are never, you are a risk. Nope. It was so negative, right? Only to find out that she did not even submit my things. She did not submit I was like, what? She literally just said, you've been rejected by all banks. And she did not even submit anything. Luckily for me, I had applied at the previous dealership. I was approved and I literally used the same finance house. I moved them over to the second dealership. Guys, it was such a battle. This, this, this lady was fighting. She's like, I can't get the car. I'm not getting the car. She even told the boss. She's like, no, she doesn't qualify. Um, this finance house that she applied at previously is a scam. Yo, guys, I was so tired. I was so tired. Like, I was tired, you know, every day. Like, she wouldn't even answer my WhatsApp. I would have to ask her, what's the update on my application? She would tell me at 12 in the afternoon, I just got to the office. I will check. You're supposed to be following up my things and giving me updates. No. When I get there, she has attitude. She doesn't even pay. I don't know if my age was a problem or she went through my 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 documents, my statement and my pace. I don't mm -hmm. know. But the lady was not happy. She didn't like me. So it was an issue. Now we're like trying to think what's going to happen. What should I do? And oh, guys, it, it, every day it was just a lot for me. It was a lot. I had to keep praying. God, is this car mine? Show me. Like, I had to keep praying. You know, every day there was a story. Until it got to a point where um, the person who, the finance house was, it was aligned. Things were starting to align. And then it had to go through inspection, you know, for roadworthy. Yo. That, oh, guys. Yo, it was, it was a mess. I don't even want to go deep into that. But, guys, I had to. 
Begazela had to be strong and just stick in prayer. And only after three weeks, I finally got to take the car. You know, even before signing, still there were complications. Someone, yo, guys, I don't even want to go into that. It was just so intense. But um, the car is here. The girl is driving. It's a mini SUV. It's big. I wanted something big. I was like, I don't want no Picanto. I don't want no Figo. I don't want... Guys, I deserve, I mean, you know, rich anti vibes, you know, because I want to range eventually. So I was like, mm, let me start feeling these, these big cars, you know. So that's what happened. And then I signed yesterday. Okay, if you're watching this video, it was yesterday on a Wednesday, 26 October. Yeah, I signed. It was heavy and this, oh, guys, it was so nice. So just to, to let you know, you know, like, Believe in yourself, you can do it. Um, visualize it, manifest it, trust in God, pray about it, you know. Um, when you want to apply, you need like your three months bank statement. You need your pay slips, three months. You need to um, have a proof of address. You need your ID, your license. And then you go through the whole insurance process. That was another mission on its own. Like guys, you need to really consider the expenses before you buy a car. You know, um, do you want a tracker? Um, what kind of insurance do you want? Full okay, you have to get full comprehensive before they release the car. Um, you must consider these installments that you must pay with your interest. And you just really have to be ready for such a huge responsibility. And you know, obviously, it affects your credit score and everything. And yeah, yo, like, phew, you, you really, really, really have to be... Um, yeah, you have to really be prepared for this. Um, and then, sorry, I think the lighting just went off a bit. So it's a bit dark. Just hold on. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. So, let's say, oh yeah. So you really have to be prepared to buy a car. Be prepared. The service, warranty, you need to understand all of that, you know. So I was approved with ABSA and yeah. The car is here, you know. There's the keys. Oh, yes. I have the keys here. I'm a Ford baby. I'm officially a Ford baby. So, um, yeah, guys. It was it was hectic, you know. But I believe that God set that car for me. It was meant for me. But I, I had to learn how to be, you know, strong, persevere, not give up, you know. Constantly pushing, even though people are fighting against this. Yo, it was intense. You need to really not give up. Like you need to, if you want something and you believe it's yours, go for it. If God has said yes, go for it. Trust me. You need to push. That's what I learned. Um, and then yeah, your tips, guys. That those I think I will I will I will get into that a bit later. But I've just given you an overview of the things you need, where you can apply, the dealerships you can go around. Just be careful of balloon payment. Balloon payment, guys. Avoid that. I made sure that I I don't have balloon payment. Because, yeah, you will, <laughs> you will die. Um, but in payment is like when they, like, they reduce your amounts, your installment, so that it can be affordable for you for the first five years or so. And then at the end, like a month before you have to finish paying your car, you need to pay like 80K, 100K, depending on your car, because they uh, reduced the installments for you so you can afford it for the first five years. So just imagine being told, we need 100k next month and you're about to finish Kanti, no 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 you're not done you still have to pay so just be careful of that um and then yeah i'm gonna put in some clips to show you the journey you know pieces ugh, ugh, of how frustrated i was you'll see in one of the videos um i was i was supposed to collect the car on a monday and then it didn't work out i had to go back again on a tuesday so the outfits are different like we had gotten flowers and everything but the car didn't come. It was so frustrating. But guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, yeah, um, I appreciate it. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, and click the notification bell. So yeah, guys, enjoy the rest of the video. bought wine I asked for non-alcoholic and he bought wine yeah but it's I don't know 
yeah so guys we are on our way to do the signing and get the car so let's go i'm super excited i i'm in shock but i'm ready okay guys just to give you a bit of insight um i've been struggling to get this car i think this is like the third third week um usually a car takes even a day like a couple of hours to you know get approved take the car home but no baby girl has been suffering guys i got to a point where i wanted to give up i i just i was just like nah and the thing is the car that i found or the car that my mom found for me is very rare like it's difficult the color everything it was just perfect it's perfect so thinking of going to another dealership and starting the whole process again was just not on so what kept me going is um the word you know when god says you know his promises are yes and amen you know he'll never forsake you you know trust in him <laughs> For a good fight, but uh, it wasn't enough, you know. Yeah, you know God, Our God. God is just at the top, you know. Mm. Relax, mm. 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 relax, mm. 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 relax. relax. Ah. Number number Car number what? three, 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 three. Mm? three. Ah. At what age? Oh, 24? 24. 24. I think, I think my masters, when I get my masters, I'm, I'm, I'm going to gift it with a, a range. You know how to drive, eh? So guys, I'm going to give you a car tour now of the car. So guys, you'll forgive me. My dog is being a problem. But anyways, this is the spare tire at the back. I just need to get a lock nut. And then it's a titanium EcoBoost. It's fast, guys. It's fast. And then, yeah, we have the lights. And the tires. Uh, let me just open it up so yeah this is the inside of the car um, yeah it's quite spacious and as you can see there's leather seats and everything <sighs> she loves the car there's nothing I can do honestly so I just bought this for the grip and now I'll give you guys a car tour um, so yeah, this is my area, and then this is the dashboard, and obviously it's a Ford. Um, so I'm going to put the grip thing over here, and then you've got your radio. Um, it uses Microsoft Sync, yeah. So I think these are like Acon stuff, um, and it's a manual, and then your thingy, and then I get to put my, my um, cup thingies over there. Uh, and then yeah the compartment and then it's got like a compartment thing here that you can put stuff in and yeah guys you know and then there's like lights over here yeah okay so I just realized this is like for my shades I think yeah something right and then yeah hello so yeah, it's a really beautiful car. Let me just show you guys how it looks from the front. Yep, this is my baby. This is my baby. It's quite big. Yeah, but I love it. I love it. I love it. So yeah, guys, um, let's just work hard and do the things, you know? Thank you. 